So yeah, my name is Yuri Litvinovich, and uh, I'm uh, a senior cloud engineer at Scotiabank. And uh, today I'm going to talk about the journey that we currently going through, and it's how to become a technology company in uh, financial services. But first, how many of you heard of Scotiabank here? Oh, quite a few. That's good. So let me give you some numbers on that. And Scotiabank is the bank that is based in Canada. We have 24 million customers globally. And uh, that's actually this, about the same number of people living in Australia. And among our top markets are not only Canada, but uh, Peru, Mexico, Chile, Colombia, and other Latin American countries. Bank employs 96,000 people globally, having the uh, 27 billions of dollars in revenue. So it's decent size, and um, only the IT budget spends are on the scale of $3.1 billion annually. And in 2016, our CEO, Brian Porter, said this. We are the technology business. Our product happens to be banking, but largely that's delivered through technology. And that has set a course for the whole bank for um, until now. And basically, he set an objective that we want to transform a 186-year-old uh, organization into a modern technology company in financial services. And today, I'd like to share with you how about this journey and how Scotiabank is becoming the technology company in financial services. So how are we doing all that? To undergo this transformation, we have an organization called Platform Organization. And it's also known as Plato. So Plato is the name for that org within a bank. And we often think of Plato being an engine of modernization. And we're changing the way that things get done, including changing the way that organizations like ours, they normally operate within a bank. And let me give you more details for that. So we consider Plato as a software company within a bank with all its benefits. And being a software company, we are profit oriented. And we're also customer focused customer-centric as opposed to cost-centric. And operating as a software company, Plato pretty much equips their clients with services just needed to get job done, abstracting them from uh, all the nitty-gritty details, knowing how infrastructure works and all these things that, so they, they can focus our application teams and developers, they can focus on solving their business problems. And also, we're in kind of a fintech in that sense, operating like a fintech. It's innovative, it's forward-looking, and it's operated like a startup. But the difference between uh, having that work within a big bank and um, typical fintech is that we have the backing of a big bank. And it means that we have support from all the way from CEO, and that allows organization like ours to get things done. Plato is also the name of the platform we have. And if you look at the slide here, you'll find the components of that platform. And I would like to uh, focus on a number of them. The, one of the first products within Plato to I'm going to talk about is Accelerator. So think of Accelerator is as a software development pipeline. What, it pay, what this pipeline does, it takes all the complexity that it takes for a typical application in a bank to go to production and automates all that within this one software delivery pipeline. It's like an interface, like an abstraction layer that, that uh, gathers all the tools, uh, security scanning tools, different repositories, and um, it makes sure so the security policies are enforced. 
And as you know, being working in a bank, you've got to make sure your security is on the high level. And all the other requirements and components for application to go live to production. And that all happens within that one single pipeline. When developers run their code, they use it. And after successfully running through it, they get their app in production. So single pipeline, single way of deploying to production. And that allows us to deliver fundamental benefit of cloud, which is making change faster, velocity. Accelerator deploys um, applications uh, to a different product called uh, cloud, for, uh, cloud Development Platform, or CDP. Uh, CDP is based on Pivotal Cloud Foundry. How many of you have heard of PCF? Quite a few. And uh, it just provides the cloud capabilities for digital and uh, web applications. Uh, applications deployed to CDP, they are permitted to connect to on-prem services and to existing systems, and they also store, can store data in the cloud and, uh, instead of just being stateless. So let's talk about the cloud. Because as I said, we have cloud as our primary uh, fundamental foundational part of Play-Doh. And we use cloud because of a number of reasons. So first of all, cloud provides you with an easier and fast access to a superior infrastructure. And that accelerates delivery, that, ex that shortens the deployment cycles, that also have security all built in. And uh, one of the key features of cloud is the automated way of infrastructure, uh, of getting to infrastructure. So you just click, you go to the console, and you click a button, you get your compute, compute resources. You make an API call, you get your storage resources. It's very easy, it's convenient. There is no longer need to go and wait for hardware to get installed in a data center. It just happens like that. So it's instant provisioning. It happens in seconds, minutes. But also, cloud gives you dynamic provisioning, which means that if you have a bigger load, you get automatically scaled resources to accommodate that load. If you don't need those resources and, and they're in the idle state, it automatically scales down, which is great. And uh, you pretty much pay for what you use. And for cloud at Scotiabank, we decided to go public cloud. You may ask, why public cloud? And there is a number of reasons why we do that using public cloud providers. And one of them is that public cloud allows you to, to get economy of scale. It means that there is this major cloud provider that has this infrastructure, and it's shared by many customers. What it brings, it brings better speed and much less overhead, because they, they their primary uh, thing is to build this infrastructure. And that, that makes our costs less. Another good reason to go public cloud is higher performance. Because cloud providers, they invest um, money in building this infrastructure and services. And uh, for example, storage in a public cloud can have like seven or more nines of durability. It can have geo-replication, which is might be a little tough for a, a regular enterprise, let's say, to build the same, same good technology around it. Among other reasons is, of course, it's uh, better security. Uh, big cloud providers, they can afford hiring thousands of people to actually uh, to secure the cloud. And despite having this word public in it, it actually can be done very securely. And of course, you pay for what you use. If you use this, you pay only for X amount of resources. And there is no upfront cost on joining the cloud. But we also love to say that using cloud is just a method. Cloud is a method. It's not a location. That's the phrase that we often use. And what it means is that it's not only about moving things to the cloud, about taking your application 
and putting it as is to running in public cloud. It's about building all the processes around it. It's about transforming the way application is built. If your application is monolithic, while you modernize your infrastructure, your processes, you want to make sure to make it microservices, if that makes sense. That also gives you, um, it's about, about modernizing development processes. It's about uh, building continuous integration, continuous delivery around it. And uh, that all increases velocity, because eventually it's all about velocity. Software technology companies, they operate as a faster. That's what makes us a technology company, a software company. And that's what we do at the bank. We try to operate as a software company. And uh, this, is a, this is a cloud journey we've been going through. And Scotia Bank uh, can be proud of being an innovative leader in many areas. Like, let, for example, uh, Scotia Bank is the first Canadian bank to open branches in outside of uh, Canada, beyond the UK and US. It also the, is the first Canadian bank to appoint women as a branch managers. And uh, I'm also excited to say that Scotia Bank is the first bank in North America that goes open source. We've uh, open sourced a number of components of the accelerator pipeline I've uh, mentioned. And we believe that doing so promotes this innovation among the industry and that also keeps us diligent. So if you're interested, check this link, github.com slash Scotiabank to learn more. But that's not it. And uh, Scotiabank, another way of modernizing things uh, there is by becoming a value-added reseller. We're in that journey and we believe that being a value-added reseller by adding some custom software on top of uh, services from Microsoft, from Google, from Pivotal, and selling it to the rest of the bank, that also demonstrate that you operate as a software company and with all the benefits that it brings. And our innovation journey continues. So um, I want to say uh, the quote by Steve Jobs, and it says, that technology is nothing. What's important is that you have faith in people and they're, that they're basically good and smart and if you give them right tools, they do wonderful things with them. That's what we believe at Scotiabank as well. So modernizing big organization, it's not only about changing the technology, it's also about changing the culture in it. It's about changing people. It's about changing the mindset of how you approach problems, how, how you solve them, and bring agile practices in place, and even changing your workspace. And right now, Scotiabank is in the process, the, the platform organization is uh, moving to so-called activity-based working workspace. How many of you heard of activity-based working? One person, good. <laughs> So you know it's innovative and we believe that it will improve our efficiency and in all that stuff. So and from uh, being an engineer working for this kind of projects, um, I can say that um, I love the journey for a number of reasons. Because one of the reasons is that you find yourself being part of this transformational journey that happens once, once in a while. And what I like also is working with the greatest and latest tools. Like we use Google Cloud, we use Microsoft Azure, we work with Pivotal Cloud Foundry. We work with Kubernetes, cloud databases, real-time event streaming. And also you work with smart people around you that make these ideas a reality and they generate bright ideas. And working as a big bank, being a software company inside of a big bank is also good from the perspective that you have this, you feel that you have the support of CEO. And when you get this support, you know that these ideas, these bright ideas of innovation and modernization, they are happening. And we have enough fuel to make that success, to make that successful. 
But I think the most importantly is that that gives you this sense of purpose that you, um, you do work that matters. And by performing that way, you're contributing to the well-being around and that you're changing the face of the industry, which is considered to be pretty conservative by uh, many and uh, not that innovative as, let's say, software industry. So being a part of that project really is, uh, gives you some kind of purpose and feeling that your work matters. And uh, if you're excited about the journey too, about solving interesting engineering challenges and uh, you like working with agile teams and digitally transform industry, I have good news for you. We are growing and we are hiring. <laughs> Thank you.